Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Alto Yapper. Thanks for joining me here today. Today I want to do a special video today. Um, I know on this channel I have done some unboxings. I have done some a lot of gameplay videos. But in terms of reviews and opinions, there may be one video and I believe is Assassin's Creed Odyssey I did a review on. I'm going to be doing a review the Xbox Series S console. Over the last couple days, I had an opportunity to sit down and play some games with this Xbox Series S console. You could see the games I have downloaded on this console. This is strictly Game Pass games. And I must say, I was surprised. Um, I downloaded a few games from Game Pass, um, which will be the 13 games you see in my library here. Console is a beast. Um, it's not as powerful as the Xbox Series X, but listen, it plays the games, it runs the games pretty well, and it's a perfect companion for Game Pass. I had an opportunity of playing a few games from this list here. I played Back for Blood. Love the first person shooter element in the game. It reminds me a lot of Left for Dead back in the day. Um, I pl haven't played Skyrim or Fallout yet, but I have waiting for Doom Eternal to download. Um, and once this is finished, I would likely jump into this game because I heard a lot of good things about it. I played a bit of Forza Horizon 5. I spent a couple hours playing the game. I was blown away from what the game has to offer. I have to jump into Halo Infinite. I played a bit of Mass Effect. Love Oblivion back in the day. I massacred this game on the Xbox 360. So I would just like to see. I downloaded it again to see what it will play like on the Series X on this generation consoles. I played a bit on Ori, The Will of the Wisps. It's a platformer, not too good in that, but the game runs great on the Series S. I'm enjoying this game, Outer Worlds, on the Series S. I put it like over 10 hours in this game. It's been crazy. It reminds me a lot of Fallout. It reminds me a lot of Skyrim. It has that feel to it. Um, I'm loving this game. Outriders is similar to Destiny. I played maybe about 45 minutes of the game. Well, I need to put some more time to to um, kind of see where I'm going to go if I'm going to continue playing this game. Tetris, highly recommended. It's a great game just to sit down and just relax and play. You could really get lost into this game. I put a couple hours in playing Tetris and I love this way back then when it came out. And Yakuza Like a Dragon. I'm enjoying this game as well. So basically, my goal for 2022 is to really utilize the Game Pass universe. Um, I've been a subscriber to Game Pass over the last couple of years. On and off kind of a thing. Now I'm just going to stay subscribed to the service. Because there are really gems on the service. Now... This is just a drop in the bucket of what this service has to offer. But what I'm saying here, if you got an Xbox Series S, right? If you got a Series S, right? This system here, and you have a great internet connection, that's all you need. Um, you pay $16.99 Canadian plus taxes, $19.20. And my goal also... Not only playing Game Pass for this year, but I don't I don't see myself for 2022 buying any games for 2022. Because what I want to do is I want to utilize this service to the maximum. I want to play all these games, these 13 games. I will be bringing you gameplay videos for these games. And I want to be able to enjoy the games and finish the games and talk about the games here. And I just thought it's just a video I'll bring out today um, just to kind of give you my point of view on the service. Now, in terms of the system, um, the Xbox Series S. So this system here could run games up to 120 frames per second. Now, this is not 
4K, guys. Um, let's not get carried away. This is just up to 1440p, which is pretty decent. Um, to get a TV nowadays that runs games up to 4K and 120 frames per second, um, they're very expensive. Um, they're ranging about 2000 plus. Um, but any TV, whether it's a 1080p TV, LED, or 4K TV, this system great um also it comes with a 512 gigabyte ssd now i mean it's similar to what's in the xbox series x um this thing could load games like in a matter of seconds based on the game that you want to play and also it has something very unique um which is called quick resume so let me just put this down and i'll show you exactly what i mean here so if we go back to games and applications here and we just pull this up and I go into here, you would see quick resume. Now you could see we got Halo Infinite, we got Outriders, Tetris, Forza, and Yakuza Like a Dragon. So why don't we do this quickly? Why don't we see the power of the system? Why don't we see what the system has to offer? So let's go jump into Halo for a second. Quick resume. Accepted. Switch detected. So now we're gonna switch out of Halo. We're just gonna make a little, have a little bit of gameplay on Halo Infinite. Then what we're going to do now is we're going to jump out of Halo Infinite and we're just going to go into Outriders. So now we're jumping into Outriders here. Now, the thing I have to tell you guys is when you're doing quick resume on a game like Outriders, because it's a game that is an online game, like it's a multiplayer online game, um, it doesn't jump back to the story. Um, it will take you to your menu and then you will have to go and play it will just take you to the nearest checkpoint so we're just going to go to the checkpoint for this game just to show you how the quick resume works so this is our last checkpoint here so now i'm just going to play it for maybe a minute or so what the right oh shit. just to prove to you guys that i'm actually playing this game here Right, so I'm gonna come out of it now and I'm just gonna go into Tetris and this is what I'm talking about look at this it actually took me back to where I left off so now so we're gonna play a little bit of Tetris here let's just jump into it for a minute or so not too long so we're just gonna do a minute um, So we're just going to play a minute or so. I mean, this is a wonderful system to have. I mean, lots of people are saying, oh, you know, it's not powerful enough. But trust me, man, it is. Okay, so let's come out of that now. And let's just jump into Forza. So just jump into Forza. And look at this. I went from Halo Infinite over to Outriders, over to Ch look at this, back to where I start. stop this right now and I could just jump right into Yakuza like a dragon so what and I mean the maximum for the quick resume is five games right so, killing me. look at this back to where I stopped right I mean this Whoa. is amazing what this little system could actually do and I'm just going to move back to the um, home screen for a second. And I am surprised that I had never given this system the attention I have, I should have given to it. Like I have given my Series X and my PlayStation 5. So 
this year for me is just focusing on playing the Xbox Series S and join what Game Pass has to offer. There are over, I mean, if I was to add EA access to this and I was to add what all the the games being offered from Game Pass and wait a second, with Game Pass, you get day one releases. I mean, this is incredible. This system is a perfect buy. I mean, it's highly recommended, a perfect buy. You don't even need to buy games. Listen, I'm going to do 2022 as a year of not purchasing a single game. I'm just going to be focusing my year using the Xbox Series S and playing Game Pass games. This is all what I'm going to be doing for 2022. Because if I'm going to be paying $19.20 a month, the value for my money here. And there's a lot of value with this system. And I, with Microsoft coming out with a system like this, they knew what they were doing coming out of a system like this. Because with right now with games being $89.99 plus tax, you could be out of pocket. I mean, you buy four games you're technically out of pocket $400. And that's the price of this system, $400. And the beautiful thing is, if you're new to the universe of Microsoft, you get a month free of Game Pass. And boot in a month, man, you could probably finish three or four games in a month, which could pay for these four games that you're gonna be buying anyway. And if I just wanna scroll down here, and these are the rewards you could get. So the more you play Game Pass, the more you could rack up these rewards. Look at these two games. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Extraction coming out on the 19th of January. You get exclusive access to that and also to Stalker 2, the heart of Chernobyl on the Xbox. I mean, this is something that I've overlooked and I'm really sorry about that. Um, but going forward for 2022, this is my primary focus. I mean, I know I have purchased games um, for games that came out in October and November and December of this year. So I'm going to put that on the shelf for a little while. And this is the year I'm going to be really utilizing this service, utilizing it and trying to get the best bang from it. And it's like I said before, um, if you guys are new to gaming, if you don't know what you should pick up, whether you should pick up a Switch, a Series X, Series X, or PlayStation 5. I would recommend picking up the Series S for three nine seventy nine plus tax. Being in a universe like Game Pass, you can't go wrong with this. And knowing that the system has more horsepower than what the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox C Xbox X can offer in terms of gaming up to, listen to me, up to 120 frames per second. Also, you get HDR high dynamic range and it also has variable refresh rate. And variable refresh rate allows you to game up to 120 frames per second. So if your TV supports that, man, you're good to go. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Most importantly, if you guys managed to pick up one of these systems, if you guys are playing the Xbox Series X right now, if you guys are enjoying Game Pass, let me know what games you guys are playing on Game Pass. Um, I'm planning to do some gameplay videos on the games that I have downloaded. Um, let me know what your guys' thoughts on the Series S. Uh, like I said, I have picked this thing up over the last 10 months and I'm getting into it right now. And I'm fully enjoying the system. For me alone, this and Game Pass, I am good to go. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.